My name is Vince Farrell and I'm an Applications Engineer at Hawkridge Systems. As you probably know by now, SolidWorks rolls out a new version with many great enhancements every year. Today's video is meant to show you my picks for the top enhancements to the routing module in SolidWorks 2017. Routing is a module that lets you create 3D models of pipe, tube, and electrical routes and is available in SolidWorks Premium. My routing outing is already turned on, so let's uh, start working on this text, test fixture I'm working on. Switch over to the routing uh, display state and turn on those routing points so I can select those. All right, I'm going to do a piping run from this uh, filter looper regulator over to this manifold. Start that run, really easy to do. Just right click on the C point and say add route. Uh, we won't save it this time. You can see I can select all my piping options over here. I'm using elbows. I'll hit the green check to start that and then I'll just add the other point to the route. Okay, now I'm going to utilize one of my favorite tools in here, auto route, and then I'll select the two endpoints there. This brings up the first enhancement I want to show you, which is the alternate paths and having those different solutions be numbered. So previously we would just see X, Y, Z here, no solution one. It's nice that they include a number there so you can distinguish between solutions. The other thing is if I hover out in the graphics area, you can see this uh, on my mouse cursor. If I click the right mouse button, it allows me to toggle through solutions. Pretty helpful um, instead of hitting those arrows there. If at any time you hit the left mouse button and that goes away, just click in that gray box again and now we can right click through those solutions. So I'm going to go back to solution 3. That's what I want. I'm going to hit the green check up there to accept that. Uh, so that's my solution. Move this out a little bit. And that brings me to the second enhancement I want to talk about which is nipples. Now we can incorporate uh, nipples into our piping routes. So you see I have, uh, I'm going to use this barrel nipple. There's a closed nipple, hex nipple, hose nipple, weld nipple. Um, so lots of versatility in there. I'm going to drag and drop this onto my route. Pick the size. Nice thing is it automatically splits the route just like a T for example. So I'm going to, I don't need that pipe so I'm going to remove that pipe segment and I'm going to remove that pipe segment and then I'm just left with my route um, using the D key to bring that confirmation corner to my mouse and now I'll have my piping route. So you can see my piping route's been added there uh, automatically with the elbows and I'm going to open that piping route up in its own window to show you the next enhancement I'd like to talk about. First I want to hide those planes and we'll also hide the C points and the sketch. Okay, so this brings me to my piping route with the various elbows and the next enhancement that I can do which are exploded views. So been using exploded views for many years for uh, regular assemblies. Now we can use those on our pipe routes. So explode this up here. We can explode this out. Explode all these out here. Uh, so of course exploded views are a nice way to help in the manufacturing process show how everything goes together and once we create that exploded view nice thing we can always do is animate it right? save that out as an AVI so really helpful uh, for again the manufacturing process uh, that's gonna lead me into the last enhancement I want to talk about which actually has to do with a particular type of electrical route called a disjointed route and uh, it's different than a branched harness because it has multiple individual routes not connected to each other so for example this type of route and previously if you tried to flatten this route you'd get an error well now you can see that that error goes away and actually once my uh, cursor stops spinning here and it loads up we can switch over to the flattened route and try to do it. There we go. And you can see now when I switch to that configuration, the flattened route is no problem at all. I have an annotated 
flatten her out right in here as soon as it pulls up and we we know that we can just do our flatten routes any other way doing our our annotated or manufactured flatten route for drawings for again for assembly today's video I went over some key enhancements for routing in Solars 2017 really hope you enjoyed this video and if so please give the video a like subscribe to our Hawkridge systems channels to see more videos like this one and thanks for watching